Don't do anything you're about to see at home. We're trained professionals in a real professional wrestling ring. This next move is called the reverse STO. Uh, you might know it under another name. Uh, several different people have used all different variations of it over the years. Uh, more or less what it is, is <coughs> you are, you're hooking your opponent's arm and neck almost in a headlock position. And then the person giving the move is gonna lock their hands and take a back bump while the person taking the move is going to take a face bump. You want to make sure that you lean forward and that your opponent leans backward just before you go down to the mat uh, to give the move some momentum and more or less as a signal so you both end up going together at the same time. hook for this move is something like this. So really, the best way to set it up would be uh, the way we chose, which is for the person giving the move to duck at the opponent's clothesline, and then just as they're ducking, to just hook right around their chest and their shoulder, like that. taking the move is going to throw the clothesline. As you're running at them, you get your hand on their shoulder, basically wrap your forearm and your bicep around their chest, and then come around with your left hand and hook. <coughs> hook your hands together with <coughs> your arm across the larger part of their back. And then you want to quickly stop. You, the person giving the move, lean forward while your opponent leans backward, and then you throw your body back into a back bump as your opponent takes a face bump onto the mat. The only things you want to watch out for from a danger perspective, your opponent wants to make sure that they, they get their arm out of the way so you don't land on it, injuring it, possibly breaking it. And you want to make sure, you and your opponent both want to make sure that your forearm or your bicep doesn't hit them in, in the throat because that can cause any number of serious injuries.